Hello and welcome to SHS Student News. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2019. Today's forecast will be sunny with a high of 58 today. Winds will be from the north at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Lows tonight will be right around 43 with a 50% chance of rain. Today we have a lot on the schedule because at 8 a.m. there's all the juniors will be gone for the ACT. At 11 a.m. the junior high track team will be gone for the meet at Thera Central and at 1 p.m. the golf team will be gone for a meet at Red Cloud. This week we're not very busy because FFA will be gone tomorrow and through the rest of the week. FBL, FBLA will be gone from Thursday till Saturday so yeah. For lunch today <laughs> you have the choice between chicken and noodles or beef and noodles. National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day celebrated annually on April 2nd. This food is a classic favorite of many. The average American will have eaten over 2,000 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches by the time they graduate from high school. Peanut butter was considered a delicacy in the early 1900s and is only served in New York City's finest tea rooms. In May of 1896, article published in the Good Housekeeping magazine, a recipe urged homemakers to use meat grinder to make peanut butter and spread the result on bread. That same year in June, the culinary magazine Table Talk published a peanut butter sandwich recipe. It is thought to, to be that the first reference of peanut butter pa paired with jelly on bread to be issued in the United States was by Julia Davis Chandler in 1901. In the late 1920s, the price of peanut butter declined and the sandwich became very popular with children. According to the Peanut Board, during World War II, both peanut butter and jelly sandwiches were part of the United States Soldiers' Military Ration List. In 1968, the J.M. J. M. Smucker Company introduced Goober, a jarred product which combined alternating vertical stripes of peanut butter and jelly. On this day in 1917, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson asked Congress to declare war against Germany. Now it's time for Word of the Day. Oh boy. Sorry everyone, it's been a rough week if you cannot tell already. Pray for Miss Teagan right here. Oh, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> There you go, fifth grade. You just eat it at us. Sure. Eat it, did it, did it, did it. it. Yo, yo, is the correct term? Is it now? Yes, it is. I bet it's even in the dictionary. Go find it. It's not in the dictionary. <laughs> That's a weird word. T, you wake up. It's word of the daytime. Binder noun: a harvesting machine equipped with an attachment for binding the cut grain into bundles, generally with twine. Also, the attachment or devices by which the operation of binding the bundles is performed. Thanks for tuning back, and I'm Tegan Sullivan. I'm Wyatt Schuster, and I'm Jamie Bryant. And yes, it's a Tuesday. <laughs>